What's good, everyone? This is DJ's Raw and Cut Truth, giving you the raw content that you deservedly need. Today's game is, as you know, Hornets versus Warriors. This is the game we all wanted to see. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Now, I don't know the outcome, but I, I can only guess and, and assume what might uh, entail in this game. First, Steve Kerr. Steve Kerr has been annoyed, of course, of the question, why didn't you draft LaMelo Ball? Why did you draft Wiseman over him? He's been hearing that all year. So what he is going to do, now this is what I assume might happen. Don't be surprised if he game plans for LaMelo and really not for everybody else. So this may be a big game for Miles Bridges. They want to prove a point that they made the right decision. Teams do this all the time. So they're going to throw everything they got at LaMelo Ball. Here's another thing. James Borrego, as you know, he's been dealing with a tussle of giving LaMelo the key sometimes, sometimes not wanting to be the main reason why the Hornets win or lose, and that's JB's MO. I've seen it, Coach Joe, I've seen it, everybody and their mama have seen it, that this coach has been a psychoanalyzing this whole year. Remember, I tried to give James Brago a benefit of a doubt, but time after time again, you're seeing minutes not being up to par what it should be for LaMelo. There's no reason why he should not be playing at least 35 minutes a game, which is the standard of a starting guard. If you're a starting guard in the NBA, you usually get 30 plus minutes. So I want to see LaMelo play more. I want to see LaMelo uh, be involved more. Plays ran for him. And the most important part is a win. LaMelo is my favorite player on the team. But nobody wants the Hornets to lose. I don't think losing bodes well for anybody. Uh, Steph Curry, I, I think he is going to have a hell of a game. This zone defense, a.k.a. auto zone defense, is just the type of defense for Steph Curry to take advantage of. Expect Steph Curry to mix it up from three, mid-range. He'll do it all. He will torture that zone. Now, would James Bregel be smart enough to change from a zone to man-to-man? -to -man? We'll see. You better box in one, Steph Curry. Because if you don't, you let him get going. It's going to be trouble, trouble. It's going to be a long night. And those comebacks that the Hornets usually do, it, it'll be so far in advance that it, the game will be put, put away in the early fourth quarter. You don't want to have that problem. So take each possession at a time. Stop uh, subbing players too early. The Charlotte Hornets do not have a deep bench, and they play about 10 to 12 players at times. Now, I understand if, if they would have had the Chicago Bulls dealt, but they don't. This is reality. So don't make it too hard. Keep the starters in as long as possible, unless they're very tired. Very tired. If LaMelo, Miles Bridges, or even Terrible Jr., you can say Gordon Hayward. If they're, if they're looking at the coaching staff and say, hey, I need a breather, that's when you take them out. But you got to play to win. And you need all your offensive star power to be on the court for long periods of time. Back to Ishmael. This coach likes to play him so many minutes. 
and he's a solid rotational player, a stationary guard, very quick, uh, can handle the ball. But it's very obvious that this is his new Devontae Graham. Be on the lookout for that. The Charlotte Hornets are in a tough West Coast trip. They have no room for error and, and favoritism. The job is to win games and to elevate this team above seeding. Now they're five and three. They cannot afford to be below 500 in the West Coast trip. I don't mind if you give Ishmith minutes, but don't act like JB, and I'm talking to you, JB. I know you don't watch this video, but don't act like you can't play LaMelo with Ishmith. I'm tired of seeing that. So when Ishmith comes to the game, all of a sudden LaMelo can't play in the game? You can't at least do a three-guard lineup? I know you can do it. You did it last year. So cut the excuses. Shorten your bench. Stop playing everybody willing to need the whole game. And watch how this team rolls. But if he keeps doing the same thing, then they may not win as much games as everyone is listening thinks. So that saying of don't work harder, be smarter, that applies to here. Keep it simple, stupid. The KISS method. Keep it simple, stupid. This is a coaching method that a lot of coaches know. Keep it simple, stupid. And that refers to the Hornets situation. Stop making things more difficult than what it should be. Shorten your bench. Give the starters 30 plus minutes unless they're extremely tired. And you know what you have with Ishmith, Kelly Oubre, uh, those are the two you can count on off the bench that can produce in uh, P.J. Washington. Those three. So have an eight-man bench. You do that, good things can happen. I guarantee it. And finally, Gordon Hayward. Brother Gordon, uh, can you finally show up against good teams? I'm not asking much, but Gordon Hayward... Can you please rise to occasion against a good team for once? Like, I'm tired of you just only showing up against bad teams and stat pad and then come up small against a, a team that has a bad matchup or, or a talented team like the Warriors. Last game against the Cavaliers, as we all know, the Cavaliers are better. Um, they have a better roster than we all believed coming into the NBA season. The Cavaliers are 4-4 now. I knew that game was going to be a problem. I said it to myself that Evan Mobley is going to cause fits on Gordon Hayward. If you watch the Cavaliers, they play three power fours. They play Jared Allen, Larry Marketing, and they have Evan Mobley guarding the wing position. This is their Opening lineup, Evan Mobley just held him to six points. And you and you know how Gordon Hayward is. If he's not scoring, he's definitely going to have zero impact on defense. He already is not a good defender. But when he's playing a bad game offensively, he will not show up at all on defense. This is what he has to rectify. So I'm excited for the game. Uh, Coach Joe will be live tonight. And if you're wanting to join the panel, just click on the StreamYard link. Uh, I will provide that in the comments today. It's going to be an exciting matchup. LaMelo Ball versus Steph Curry. And, uh, and I hope to see a good game. I, I, I assume, again, for LaMelo Ball, 
that he's going to come out trying to be ultra aggressive. I think he knows if he doesn't, if he's passive, then uh, the Hornets do not have a chance against the Warriors. But I'm excited. And uh, make sure to hit the like button. Share this video. God bless all of you. And I'm out.